Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Virgos. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm going to give you all the questions up front, the questions that we have for Sunday. This is this video is for the 29th of January through the 28th of February. Let's go. Let's go. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. It is Sunday in some parts of the world, even though it may be still Saturday in other parts of the world. On the 28th of this month, we moved into a new phase within this cycle. It's the first quarter moon phase in Taurus. First quarter moon phase in Taurus. All right. So these questions are for the full moon that's coming on February the 5th because you already have the questions for Taurus, right? You already have those questions for Taurus. Um, and I want to make sure you have these questions for Leo. So a moon in Leo, we're not talking about any Leos that you know, but a moon in Leo, um, are like, it is like a royal sunshine. Leo is ruled by the sun, which we know as a star. It's a luminary, it's a star. Um, and it really encourages us to be bold, be expressive, um, and also be graceful, uh, graceful and also oh, gracious and also courageous, right? So this is where you're setting yourself apart from everybody else based on all the hard work and the efforts that you put in your own universe, right? So here, uh, Leo, um, Leo is masculine energy. So right now you are focusing on how you are as we're moving through these phases, January 21st kicked off the, the super new moon in Aquarius, which is masculine energy, sword energy, power your intellect. Um, and that's a time of quiet creativity. That's your time where you're keeping things close to the vest. That's the time where you're thinking about what am I, what do I want to manifest during this cycle? Everybody doesn't need to know. By now, in this place in your life, you should already know who you can share information with and who you can't share information with. Some people are blabbermouths. <laughs> um, and so first quarter moon is now swinging into action, right? Saying, I'm comfortable with leaving behind fear, doubt, uncertainty, or whatever. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm going to just do it, right? Um, uh, so you're, the, the first quarter moon in Taurus is really about creating a life here on earth that you absolutely love and that you're pleased with as we move towards this full moon, which means your spirit fully illuminated. It looks like a big full moon in the sky, which will be on the 5th of February. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Here are the questions for you as I'm very, very nice Virgos. First card out of the deck is financial independence. I love it. Um, um, first question is, do you connect to your core which is your center daily. That can be some kind of core strengthening exercise, some kind of core strengthening yoga. It can mean doing some kind of fire walking, some kind of courageous activity, maybe like traveling by yourself, you know, or taking a class, learning a new language, doing something that you haven't done before, something that's going to really strengthen your core. Not everybody needs to know what you're doing. You're doing it for yourself, right? Again, you're investing in yourselves. Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and your time by politely saying no to requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Of course you can. Of course you can. Let's go. World card. So cycle, you're going to close out this cycle successfully and you're going to feel liberated and you're going to feel free. Remember, we have eight major moon phases. I talk about four of them on my channel. I talk about the new moon phase, the first quarter moon phase, the full moon phase, and the last quarter moon phase, right? So um, I see you successfully closing out a cycle. I do see we also have the chariot card. So somebody may be in pause mode right now. Like really just like, see how this person is sitting on their motorcycle. They're thinking about the dark and light of a situation, the seen, the unseen, the known, the unknown. Someone is before they step through that portal of light, right? Even though this is not the 11th card in in tarot, before you step through those pillars of dark and light, seen, unseen, known, unknown, 
um, good and evil, you're kind of pausing and reflecting and really analyzing your feelings when it comes to this chariot card is attached to cancer cancer is the i feel sign so you're analyzing your feelings and you're making a decision as to moving forward but at the same time you're also looking back over a long and arduous journey nine of wands it could have been with a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius and you could have been thinking hey i went through this long and arduous journey i'm thinking about do i want to go back through that again do i Right? Do I want to go back through that again? Or do I want to save myself? Be my own knight in shining armor. We're talking about self, God within, right? Do I want to save myself from a situation? I'm not waiting for somebody else to save me from a situation. I can save myself from this. I'm certainly no longer looking for people's approval, right? I'm seeing you are planting seeds, meaning that you are planting seeds and watering the seeds. See how this person, well, this person doesn't have the water canister in their hand, but obviously you see growth there, right? Am I growing my own relationships with people? I'm not waiting for somebody to speak up on my behalf. I'm not waiting for somebody to um, defend me from my own journey. I'm pausing, but I'm actually taking some kind of action. I have a fire up under me. Like, like through this long and arduous journey could have been um, somebody could have said or did something to you that burned you, you know, that was that, let me see if I can word this could have enlightened you about yourself. It could be their truth, but it may not be the truth, but it could have gotten you kind of inspired or fired up to take some kind of action. Let's say for instance, somebody says, for instance, you don't have any friends. Let's say that. Let's say somebody says you don't have any friends. You 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 can't keep any friends or whatever. Something that could that could be like burning somebody. Like, wow, I, I didn't know that they that's how they felt about me. Even though it's not the truth, it could be some truth to it because um and again, only take what resonates with you. Because again, if you weren't healed from past burns of going through these ups and downs and not focusing on healing, focusing more so on what a person said instead of healing, them saying that was not by coincidence, it could have been by coincidence, it could have been God's way of saying, put a little fire up under yourself, take a little bit more action, be a little bit more assertive, kind of get out there a little bit, you know, it's okay to get out there and take the first, you know, you don't always have to go with the flow. It's okay for you to get out there and make friends first. It's okay for you to strike up the conversation first. It's okay to be free. It's okay to be X, Y, and Z. It's just the way somebody could have said it could have been very hurtful, you know, to you. And so that could be, would have been sitting on your mind like, wow, you know, maybe I could assert myself a little bit more. But by the way that they said it, it could have burned you out, like drained you emotionally because of the way, like a blowtorch burn, right? So source is saying to you, you got your water, you're saving yourself, you're kind of emotionally putting some feelers out there to kind of sort of see how, you know, how things go. And, but you're also, um communicating your feelings along the way. So if people are insensitive to your feelings, okay, then you're backing away from that, right? Because again, it wasn't by coincidence that you had to go through this long and arduous journey. So hopefully that made sense to somebody. Again, I only take what resonates with you. This is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, my information is down below. So hopefully those questions have helped somebody, you know, will help somebody as we move towards this full moon. And you can look out the moon, you can download a moon app, which should be free. You shouldn't have to be paying for apps to see, you know, what phase of the moon that we're in. Um, and also you can look out the window and, you know, wherever you are and see, you know, what, how the moon looks. First quarter moon phase looks like a half illuminated moon, like you're halfway there. You're halfway there to your goal, right? Here we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Devil card, the, the um, Four of Swords, the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant card. So somebody is on their spiritual journey, but somebody's nervous. Somebody's a little nervous. Somebody is. Your spiritual journey. Let me help somebody with this because 
people are, people talk about the devil as if they don't understand what the devil represents. <laughs> So the other day I had, the last reading I had up here is a metaphysical dictionary, right? Somebody needs to really buy a metaphysical dictionary so they understand that the devil is flesh. It's our carnal mind. It's the vehicle that source uses to get around this earth to enjoy this earth, right? So you're not putting things of the world before source in you right? You're listening to source's instruction. So if source says to you, um, it's okay to initiate a conversation with this person. It's okay to extend an olive branch to try to befriend this person or, you know, um, take some kind of courageous act, maybe ask somebody out on a date. It's okay if they say no, it's okay if they are not ready it depends on how their delivery is. If they deliver it as like a blowtorch, like you've experienced in the past, okay, that's an energy I need to steer clear from. If they just simply say, I'm not interested, it's okay. You can still move forward. But now you know in your mind, I'm moving in a different direction. That's like saying, you know what? I really like that person. I want to date that person. Let me ask this person out on a date. If they say no, you know, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm good. Or however they respond without it being harsh. There's no way you can say no without somebody getting some kind of offended. You can say no or no, or whatever, however you say it, right? You know, no, thank you. Or however you say it, um, that should reroute you. But if a person says, oh my God, why would you be interested in me? (laughs) You suck. You're horrible. (laughs) Of course, you know, that's harsh, you know, okay, I need to get as far away from this mean spirited person, right? They must be in their own personal hell. They operating from, because this re- this devil represents operating in fear. It represents operating in doubt. It represents an operating in some kind of uh, uncertainty and also some kind of an addiction. So you could have been dealing with somebody who's addicted to something, but nevertheless, you're like, I need to get as far away from that as possible. You may have said something to me because you were high or drunk or, you know, addicted, maybe you're addicted to a a sex demon, an incubus or a succubus yourself. In either case, I need to get as far away from that as possible. And I see you being victorious at doing that, right? So I do see, again, you taking some kind of courageous act. I see you having a breakthrough. Here we have the Ace of Swords. I see you having a breakthrough because, again, you're taking some kind of action. Um, The the, um, Ace of Swords is really about motives. What is your motive for sitting there this long. You're thinking about it and he's like, okay, maybe there's a little bit of truth to it. I don't need to get that offended, you know, by it. It was really that person's delivery that kind of got me moving forward. And um, see how this person is steady, steady on their horse, you know, not to waste their emotions, not to drop their water because your water, your emotions, your I'm not going to over nurture. I'm not going to over water something because somebody in a gentle way says they're not interested in a friendship or romantic relationship, or I was passed over for a job or whatever the case may be. I'm not walking away like somebody blowtorch me, right? I'm not overthinking this. I'm not over nurturing this. So again, I do see you being victorious at that. So kudos to you, Virgo, for Just putting in that work, investing in yourself. And then again, you're on your spiritual journey. There's a lot of people who see you as a spiritual person. If somebody says something that was very harmful, it's blowtorching you or whatever, recognize they could be attached to some kind of demon. You have, you have your, a demon meaning themselves, their lower regions, they're in their own Hades or their own hell. So get some rest. Here we have the four swords. Yeah, get some rest get some rest and also we have the two of cups so i do see soulmate energy coming across your path soulmate could be a new best friend it could be a new love interest whatever it is you could already be in a relationship with your soulmate but again you know you learned on your long and arduous journey it's really about the delivery it's it's about the delivery some people you don't know what kind of energy they're on you don't know if they're taking pills they're connected to an incubus or succubus you don't know what the but but the bottom line is you you are about to get your rest. You that's where your breakthrough is gonna come through. You're like you know I don't know I don't know what kind of energy you on, but me I'm getting my rest. I'm turning over and I'm getting my rest. 
Yeah, so the sooner you're able to, like I said, you're on the other side of something. And the sooner you're able to just learn the lesson that the key here, it's about delivery. That's bottom line. I mean, that, I, we can really stop the reading right here because somebody may have said it did some, done something to you that cut deep like a sword or hurt you like a blowtorch. But it's really the delivery. It's the delivery. If you can't take some time to think about how you say things and how you deliver messages to people, then then you just cut yourself off out of my universe or you burn a bridge that I'm not interested in, uh, you know, extending an olive branch, right? So somebody could be thinking about that moving forward on your spiritual journey, but don't worry about somebody calling you the devil. I mean, whatever, right? That would be everybody, including Jesus. I mean, really, because the devil represents the flesh. It represents the flesh. It represents your carnal mind, right? So here we have queen of cups, the 10 of wands. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the ace of swords. We have the 10 of swords. And we also have the seven of cups, right? The seven of cups. So yes, devil energy metaphysically represents our flesh, our carnal mind, feeling like we've made poor decisions and we can't move beyond those poor decisions that we made in the past. Well, hello, welcome to earth. <laughs> Everybody on this planet earth has made you you spend any time here on earth, you've made some what somebody would deem as a poor decision. Now it's time to forgive yourself and move beyond it. So I do see you in rebirth. You're on the other side of all of this. This is a ten of swords. This is a ten of swords. Um, we also have the ace of pentacles. So I do see somebody like continuing to work hard. Um, and I hope that wasn't offensive to anybody who was on their religious journey. Cause I'm not talking about when I say that, including Jesus, because I'm talking about Jesus being in uh, a divine spirit. His mother was in flesh that was impregnated by God, right? So he came out in, in, in flesh form. So I hope that wasn't offensive to anybody, but so that's why I had to kind of back up and just make sure I explain that to you all, um, that our flesh represents this. And if you're chained to anything that's of the world, which in the Bible explains that Jesus was not chained, was not of the world. And so this is where source is trying to get somebody to liberate themselves. Like this right here is attached to Capricorn. Does that mean that any Capricorn that you know is a devil? Absolutely not. It represents our flesh and this right here is Capricorn's ruling planet Saturn which is the planet of maturity and authority but Capricorn is also the father of the zodiac and so this is where somebody has to get real rooted and grounded this is earth energy just like you are Taurus is earth you are earth Capricorn is an earth sign somebody needs to get real serious about what kind of life you want to live here on earth and really look at the black and white of a situation, the pros, the cons, the seen, the unseen, the known, the unknown of a situation and, and free yourselves, get liberated from that. This is about taking some control over a situation, right? So that you're not overwhelmed, bitter and burdened. Instead, you're booked and busy. That's what I'm seeing for you all booked and busy and not burden, right? So the seven of cups is about temptation, right? On some cards, you may have a snake here. Of course, the tempter came in the form of a snake. The devil came in the form of a snake trying to tempt somebody to vibrate low, to not listen to source God, most high God within you. And, and so you can be tempted to vibrate low while you're standing here weighing both the pros and cons of what somebody said to you, but I just gave you the answers. Even though I, the answer is, even though your ruling planet is post shadow retrograde, it's not retrograde. The answer is in the delivery, how people deliver, you know, what they have to say to you. Do people have to be harsh in their words? No, you don't even have to sit around and wonder, are they high? Are they drunk? Are they attached to a sex demon or some other kind of demon they got going on in their spirit? You can think about it for a second, but now it's time to proceed and move forward. Because if you don't know how to talk to me and you don't know how to deliver a message, then you've just cut yourself out of my own, my universe. The end for whatever reason, but you have to get out of this energy right here. This is a, somebody who is chained to their lower selves, fear, doubt, those kind of things when you're on your spiritual journey. So you don't need to be tempted by the, en the enemy. The enemy is within. 
The enemy is your flesh. Here we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords came out again. Breakthrough. Major, major breakthrough. I just gave you the answer. It's somebody's delivery. However they delivered the message, they could have delivered it in a different way. If they didn't and they don't see any, there's no remorse. Hey, you just burned your bridge. I'm not interested in extending the olive branch. Olive branch. I may understand, but you're not going to weigh me down. <laughs> you're not weighing me down with your drama, with your blowtorch. I'm not going to be emotionally drained. I understand. I'm compassionate, but I'm not stepping down off my throne again. I was tempted to step down off my throne. This is the seven of cups, but I'm not stepping down off my throne. Hopefully somebody gets it. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, people need to know how to talk. People need to know how to deliver messages. If you're that uncouth and you out of control or whatever, then because because you could re, you could step down off your throne. I mean, <laughs> that's what a temptation is coming is like you could step down off your throne and address it in a way that will come back 10 times hotter than them. But you're not interested in that because, again, you see it for what it is. You're at a higher frequency and you know exactly what it is. You can see exactly what they're tempted by. You can see there's a problem, right? So here we have the Ten of Wands uh, again. Nice. Queen of Swords. Uh, um, did I see Queen of Swords before? We got another Queen energy. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Swords and also the Ace of Swords uh, again. So breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Somebody's just having a major breakthrough. Ace of Swords, all of this right here, Ace of Swords, three cards, it's being reiterated three times, reiterated. What is your motive? Why in the world are you sitting there, still sitting there, wondering why a person said what they said? I'm telling you, some of us who are well-versed in, um, in um, reading people, you really could read people for filth. <laughs> I mean, really, you could really read people for filth, but it's like, no, nah, you know what? I'd rather be, I'd rather use my energy for being booked and busy, lots of duties and responsibilities, you know, and that's what I'm seeing here. So no, I'm not stepping down off my throne. I already know what kind of demon I'm dealing with. So anyway, here we have the 10 of wands twice. So yeah, just get, just get ready for lots of duties and responsibilities, lots of opportunity to grow your money, lots of approvals, you know, being blessed and highly favored, approval after approval, after yes, after yes, after yes from God, because you decide I'm getting more serious about my life. I'm getting grounded and rooted, you know, um, I'm pitching my tent somewhere. I'm deciding I'm creating a life that I absolutely love and that I'm pleased with. I'm being conservative with my energy. Somebody may need to go on a trip somewhere, but I'm getting conservative with my energy. I'm not giving that a whole bunch of energy. I could say a whole lot of things because two, everybody um, had to walk through their own personal hell here on earth. That's how, that's why you already know from a higher frequency what somebody else is going through. It could be several somebodies, but again, what is source saying to you? Get your rest. Get your rest. Somebody sleeping sound as that mummy on this card. <laughs> my gosh that's what i'm talking about somebody is sleeping sound as a baby it's like i already know what kind of demon i'm dealing with because trust me trust and believe i'm tempted but no mm -mm, i'm not coming down off my throne see, see how this um water is behind lock and key this is this is um this is your emotions i know how to keep my low vibrating emotions behind lock and key i have too many people who i've i've built somebody has built a built a part of your legacy is being approachable and very friendly. It's not phoniness. It's not, you're not pretending you're not putting on any kind of airs. You earned your place on the throne. So don't let the enemy tempt you to come back down out of a place. You work so hard to climb out, up, out of, right? You know, better, you know, better. And, and truth be told, they know better too, <laughs> whoever they are. 
It could be some people you work with. It can be sometimes you can just, you know, dart your eyes over there and look at a person like you don't want to step over that line because it's not going to be what you thought it was. And so, again, bottom line is you're not, you, you see it for what it is. You have compassion towards the situation, but you're saving yourself. For some of you all, you have soulmate energy. That's soulmate energy is, again, people who speak directly to your soul. They tell you what you need to hear, you know, in love, just like you're able to reciprocate that energy. They don't see you as somebody low vibrational. They can, all, they already see through your spirit that you've already been through hell yourself, so I hope nobody's getting caught up in somebody calling them a devil. Here we go. Affirmations for letting go. Um, I release what I can't control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. Yeah. Somebody better start getting comfortable with letting people burn their bridge out of your life or cutting themselves out of your life and you just moving on, rolling over. Like I said, <laughs> you somebody sleeping like a baby or sleeping like that mummy that's on that card. Getting, getting your rest. So when you wake up refreshed and renewed and in a good spirits and planning your day out, setting your intentions, you, you're not thinking about, you know, if you give it any thought, it's like, whoo. Sometimes it sometimes <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes you don't even have a your brain doesn't even have a chance. This is this is this is when you know there has been some some maturity and some growth. Sometimes your brain doesn't even have a chance to even connect with forgiveness. Because as quickly as somebody said or did something to you right you right there. It's like, I, you you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you right back. But you know that you have matured and you've grown. When you see a text message that says something that's trying to trigger you or somebody says something physically to sit in your face or whatever or about you or whatever, where you could respond and you don't, you over there high-fiving source in the spirit. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Here we have balance, spirituality, and practicality, right? So what the thing, in other words, the thing that used to once overwhelm you emotionally, it doesn't overwhelm you emotionally. It's, it's just a shallow, it's like, you know, it's not even that deep. I already know what I'm dealing with. So let me move on. Yep. So let's pull one last card and let's, I got to get your number card and we're going to go ahead and close this out with, uh, cause yeah. So letting go, yeah, letting go. Yeah. Letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. That temptation is something serious because the devil is so crafty. The devil is uh, it's as powerful as or as powerless as you give it, the energy you give it. Um, because sometimes you just feel like every time the thought comes up, you're like, oh, my God, I could read that energy for filth. Oh, my God, I could just I could take it all the way there and I'm not going to stop. But. Um, but then source steps in and goes, you don't need to handle it. Let that energy handle itself. It's called karma. You're putting out good energy into the universe. And that's why you're being protected from that. You're divinely protected from it. They're putting out negative energy and it's coming back to them. And that's why they're even more miserable pretending like they're not. But again, you steer clear of it. You steer clear of that kind of energy. All right, let's pull one last card and let's go ahead and close this out. One last card and we're going to get your number card and go ahead and close this out, Virgo. But yeah, so kudos for growth. I'm telling you because it's a whole lot of people. <laughs> it's a whole lot of people that you can blow torches. It's a whole lot of people that you can. <sighs> yes, a lot could be said. Here we go. Dream journal. <laughs> like I said, like a mummy. This you right here, sweet dreams. You writing down, you writing down how you see your life. You just, you're writing it down. You're saying, you know what? I, it's a lot I could say. I could put my energy over there. If that's draining, it'd be overwhelming. I would rather be booked and busy. I'm talking about double booked and busy. Um, so yeah, you're, you're just staring clear of it. And this is, even if you're in a part of a group, you could be a part of a, um, part of an organization or a part of a group. 
and you know you you may have to just adjust your schedule if it's something that you're not ready to complete like if you're not ready to remove yourself from a group because you could be in pause mode right now and then you can say you know what i gotta go back into this then steer clear of that energy and anybody that's trying to you know uh help somebody mend fences and all of this other stuff no because again if you feel like you have to be a part of a group, it won't take much. All they have to do is just be breathing. <laughs> and you and you be like, oh my God, just black out and just say something. But so don't even put yourself in positions where, like I said before, where you even have to even connect with energies that just don't, just have no cooth. They just have no, they just say anything out of them. They don't care who they hurting. They don't care how they say it. They don't busy in their own personal hell. So anyway, 55, I'm evolving. There we go. That's right. You're talking about growth. Substantial change is in your future, Virgo. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. That's right. 55. We just had two fives there. Double change. This um, full moon is on the 5th of February. Five and two is seven. That's the number. If this the number seven is in the shape of a lightning bolt, the number seven um, is God's way of bridging things that make sense versus things that don't make sense. Um, the good and evil, the seen, the unseen, the known, the unknown is coming directly from source. And so, this is a double opportunity for you to change. You know, courses here. You don't want to. It's a pivotal point. Right. And so five plus five is 10, which is the instant manifestation number. So you can instantly manifest the life that you want by removing yourself from situations that could tempt you to repay blowtorch or sword with blowtorch or sword. Right. You don't have to be in battle. You already won. That's what the six of swords is all about. You learned your lesson. You're not going back through the same cycle. You already on the other side of it. You already won. So it's time for you to be booked and busy, not burdened and bitter by somebody else who's already in their personal hell. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.